day. We're joining us now for a special conversation on what exactly is happening at Infosys and whether its strategy is changing in the years to come. NR Narayan Murthy. Mr. Murthy, morning. Thanks for taking time out for us. Uh, first up, sir, for that meeting that's scheduled on the 30th, uh, there is some confusion on what exactly is the mandate. Could you walk us through what comes up for consideration? You know, at this stage, I am not in a position to make any comment because it's all work in progress and the nominations committee is uh, very busy trying to complete what is in work in progress by uh, 5.55 p.m. on uh, 30th April and we have a press conference at 6 o'clock on 30th April and uh, we will announce uh, whatever deliberations we have, I mean, the nominations committee has completed. Mr. Murthy, Mohan's resignation has raised some questions about whether it was a race to the top and he had to bow out because he was not quite getting as far as he wanted to in the time that he had set for himself. Uh, did it, uh, should it be taken as some degree of top management strife at all? There is no strife in emphasis. Uh, we have all uh, led by example in giving opportunity to youngsters. I did it myself. Uh, Nandan uh, gave his position of CEO when he was 53 and went on to add value to UDAI. UIDAI or whatever that is and uh, Mohan himself had done uh, in uh, 2006 when he voluntarily gave up the CFO position and uh, encouraged Bala. Uh, therefore, uh, we since we have enough data and facts to address our thesis that uh, we want to give younger people an opportunity. I suppose uh, you people will have to to appreciate that. Mm. The stock has reacted quite sharply since Friday, partly on account of the management changes, all this stock, and of course the guidance, which seemed quite muted. No, we have a very simple philosophy at emphasis. We poll our clients. We look at the resources that we have and we give an honest opinion of what we believe our performance will be in the future. As you know, Infosys is the only company that gives both the top line and bottom line. And our philosophy is that as long as we meet with the guidance that we give, we don't care who says what? What? I think only in the case of companies which don't give guidance, the outside world uh, determines what the performance should be. Whereas in the case of Infosys, why? Because we give both a bottom and a top threshold or a band for the band, and as long as we are in that band, we are quite happy. There is an observation though at this point, Mr. Murthy, that perhaps Infosys needs to reinvent itself, whether in terms of its geographical spread or the kind of niches it works in. How would you respond to that? No, I, you know, as people who are used to coming to inferences based on data and facts, I believe that Infosys has indeed been reinventing itself pretty well. You know, for example, definitely Infosys Consulting is the most successful consulting company uh, amongst all Indian players. There is no doubt at all. Uh, you look at uh, the new services that we have added, about 50% of our revenues have come from these new services in the last uh, uh, 10 years or so. Uh, we have maintained our margins. Our margins are much higher than any other competitor uh, in India and perhaps abroad too. Uh, you know, I mean, so on all counts, we have done uh, pretty well. So therefore, 
I, I believe while it is absolutely essential for us to keep on reinventing ourselves continuously, I don't think there is any need for us to be unduly worried that we have not done enough on, in, on innovation. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't worry too much about uh, those, those uh, uh, opinions. Just on that leadership issue though, sir, uh, the observation at this point seems to be that there are plenty of faces that are probably up for the same position, all have equal amounts of talent, experience. Is there enough space in Infosys to provide for uh, all, all these faces and all these leaders? Well, I think that is the strength of Infosys. In other words, our leadership institute, which is 11 years old now, has done a very good job. It has created uh, 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 a, a, a large number of well-qualified, competent uh, leaders. And that should be seen as a positive rather than as negative. The fact that there are lots of them is, is, is a positive thing. And given that the company has been going, going pretty well, even this year as you saw, I mean, sorry, last year that is, uh, the year that ended on March uh, 31st, 2011, we had 25.8% growth. And that's not bad. At, at a revenue of $6 billion, you know, 25.8% growth, uh, is not bad, of course. I mean, last uh, when we started with about 4.8 billion dollars or so, and we ended the year at uh, 6 billion. So it's not bad at all. And the fact that we have so many good leaders is, as we, as the French say, il n'y a que l'embarras de choix. That means there is so much of choice. On the 30th of April, apparently, uh, I mean, everyone is expecting to hear a new CEO at the helm of um, Infosys, uh, Mr. Murthy. But uh, we were speaking to Mohan and he did ca mention casually that both the CEO and the CFO roles were offered to him by you, but, but he chose not to accept them. Uh, can you just take us through the selection procedure and how things move with the, with the appointment of a new CEO? No, uh, first of all, let me say this. It is not for me to offer any position to anybody because there is a nominations committee. They go, they go through a due process and then they determine who is the best candidate. Having said that, it is true that uh, I have discussed with Mohan uh, about his desire, his ambition to be considered for recommendation to the nominations committee and uh, time and again he said he was not keen on pursuing that alternative that he wanted a bigger canvas, he wanted a canvas uh, which will make a difference to the country so yes he is right when he says that I did discuss with him but it is not right to say I offered him because I have no local standing to offer anybody any position in emphasis. I appreciate your time, uh, Mr. Murthy. Thanks very much for speaking to us on the subject. Uh, that's Infosys. Uh, the stock is still down 1.2% at 29.50. And that